So after reviewing the racist bootleg movie of Up a few weeks ago, I realized the ridiculous amount of bootleg, or I guess we could just call them knockoff movies, that there really are. And when I say a lot, I mean basically every big budget animated film you can think of, there is a knockoff of it. I'm talking Ratatouille, Mulan, Shrek, Cars, and especially Wizard So-So Fun Magical Adventure. Okay, that last one isn't really a bootleg, it's just... It made me really uncomfortable. But I narrowed it down to two movies, and since I am a completely useless, indecisive piece of shit, I decided to let you guys decide on my Instagram. Make sure to follow me there. But you guys chose B. B, 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 bzz, bzz. Now the problem with picking the B movie is there is actually a lot of knockoff versions of the B movie. And one of the biggest ones that a lot of people have talked about is called Plan B. And I watched it and yeah, it's pretty bad, but you know, everyone's talked about it. It's already kind of been a thing. It came and gone. Let's talk about something new. So I decided to talk about the bootleg B movie called Little B. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard bootleg. Oh, great. It's... I'm Bootleg Jones! Oh, of course. Super original name there, bud. I heard you were looking for some bootlegs, baby. I'm not really looking for anything. I kind of already got what I need. Oh, I get it. I know what you want. I got it right here oh! for you. You like oh, that? Oh, God! You know, oh, oh, no. You don't know? No, that's not what I was talking. I don't need that. I need, I need the B movie. The knockoff B movie, okay? Oh, <laughs> Oh, the B movie. Okay, I got exactly what you need right oh! now. Okay, like that. Oh like God! That. Oh! Yeah. God, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty, it's kind of hot. No, no, no. I, I just need the movie. Okay, I don't, I don't need that. All right. Okay, fine. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, before you watch that movie, you might want to energize yourself. It's a pretty boring one. All right. So I got something for you right here. Oh yeah. Wait, what? You're sponsored by G Fuel? You of all people? Oh, of course, after Keem left, they need someone to take the mantle of G Fuel. And baby, it's gonna be me. So they pick you? Someone who just breaks into people's houses and tries to sell them knockoff movies at a very ridiculous price, I would like to mention. Oh yeah, you wanna know the best part though? 30% off, guess what the code is? It's code pig, baby. It's code pig. That's my name. What? You stole it. You stole my code. And like a phantom, I'm gone. No. I'm uh, gonna do it this time. All right, I'll open the door. Right. <laughs> like a phantom, I'm gone. Yeah, maybe drink a little bit more G fuel there, bud. All right, let's pop this bad boy into the old record player and see what happens. So the premise of this movie can be summed up in the first line of dialogue. I gotta make honey. I'm good at it. And I'm not gonna stop until the whole world knows how good. As for being a soldier, I'm too little. I'm useless to them. So yeah, it's a movie about a soldier bee who wants to be a honey bee because he likes making honey. And everyone bullies him and calls him a loser. It's about as paper thin as it gets when it comes to plot. Oh yeah, a few things you should know about the main character before we continue. One. His name is b -nard. <laughs> And two, he's voiced by the same actress who voiced Ash Ketchum on the original Pokemon show. I'm serious. Yes. Come on, someone. Let's go catch some Pokemon, buddy. <laughs> Listen to me. If the queen knew you were even thinking about breaking ranks, you'd be squished. Wow, I didn't know bee politics was so brutal. He's just a boy. A B boy, B oi. And then we meet Girl B, who wants to be Soldier B. I think you're starting to realize where this whole situation is going. I'm gonna try to ignore the completely atrocious animation and move on with that. It's gonna be hard because holy shit, this animation gets really bad. But let's just follow the story. Hell, let's follow our hearts because that's what this whole movie is about. Following your heart. This whole movie is just a long strain of Instagram motivational quotes. What is a drone? As a drone, you might be fortunate enough to date the princess. That's what I'm talking about. She will be mine. Drones are so way gross. Don't even think about it. Listen, I have dreams, ambitions, and nearly limitless wealth. Now what they did right here is honestly just it's genius. Instead of just sprinkling it out, you know, throughout the movie here and there, little bits of foreshadowing, they just decided, you know what, fuck it. Let's just put it all 
in the very beginning, just right in a row, just so everyone knows. Bernard says he wants to become a honeybee. <clears throat> I wonder if he's gonna become a honeybee. First girl says she wants to be a soldier girl. <clears throat> I wonder if she's gonna be a soldier girl. Yo! <clears throat> I wonder if Bernard's gonna get the princess. <clears throat> I wonder if the princess is gonna get with Pinar and learn a valuable lesson that you can't always get what you want. Being a princess sure sounds nice. If I was a princess, I would have a huge party and invite the whole hive to celebrate. <laughs> I wonder if this girl's gonna become a princess someday. And just so everyone knows, that's actually how this scene went. It was just boom, bam, bop, pow. Just back to back. <laughs> we haven't changed the way we've done things for over 42 million years. And we're not about to start, no matter what you bees want to be. Do you understand, Bernard? Yeah, that's right. Keep the traditions. Keep things the way they are. Hell, why not just keep the beehive great? Things are great right now, right? Things are fantastic. Let's just keep it the same way. You don't know what I can bring. What's your disgusting? Everything about that animation of what's going on here just it's delicious <laughs> how'd you miss child he, he hit it right in the center what happened did the stinger just not uh, stick i don't understand so i thought this part was interesting how quote unquote soldiers train they use their stingers which i don't know if you guys know anything about bees but normally when you use your stinger as a bee you die Did someone say something about bees dying? It's PETA Jones. PETA, what are you doing? This has nothing to do with animals. This is about bees. This is out of your range, okay? Uh, no, dude, I started to broaden my horizons. You see, the reason they didn't want to show the death of bees in that movie is because it's a children's movie, and if they all die, be kind of late, not gonna lie. I hate to say that you got a point, but I, I mean, that does make sense that they didn't do it. If you'll excuse me, I'm getting a little bit low on energy. Thank God I got this new sponsor, G Fuel. Okay, what? Did everyone just get a sponsor from G Fuel except me? Make sure to use code PIG to get 30% off your oh, order. Oh, great! Great! Get out! Oh, get out! I don't care about the 30% deal that you can use with my name. Get out! Pussy, dude. You're pussy. Maybe you need a little bit of G Fuel to pep you up, bud. But anyway, the commander starts calling Beanard a pussy. Beanard, you're not ever going to be a soldier. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. It's so amazing how barren and dry this is dialogue throughout this entire movie. It is just, I am not soldier material. I don't like being soldier. Well, you, you should be soldier because soldiers are, are you. You're born soldier. Soldier, you're a soldier boy. So, soldier boy, tell him. But I like cooking. No, cooking is for women. Are, are you a pussy? Yeah, but what if we thought outside of the honeycomb? So after the commander left, B-U-T, I'm gonna die, came flying in and lands a perfect bullseye. So Beanard and B-U-T hatch a plan. If Beanard lets B-U-T use the training grounds, then B-U-T will let Beanard use the kitchen. I hated saying that. I hated it so much. Hello, chef. How's your cooking going, sir? Magnifique! It's the best batch yet! <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, the chef is literally just the French guy from the Up knockoff. So then Beanard has the kitchen to himself, or a science lab. D is is that... W okay, alright. So then they start making their arrangements, you know. Beanard uses the science lab, she goes and gets the nectar for him, and she gets to use the training range. You know, uh, how are they not getting caught? Be it's me. How's it going, Bernard? Getting used to being a soldier? So these guys are the drones, or as I like to call them, chads. They get all the mating sex, bee sex. Oh, yeah. So the chads start bullying Bernard. Ha, virgin, virgin, we get to impregnate all of the bee women, virgin. What are you doing here, son? You want to march? I don't want to march. I want to watch. I didn't think so. You're not soldier material. So turn your tail around and buzz off. <laughs> yeah, so that scene was nothing. So the princess comes to speak to the queen and we find out that the queen is just a whiny little, little bee, little 
Where's Beach. Oh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this. One more thing, Your Majesty. I had an idea on how to improve Homeland Security. Let's say we had an elite force of specially trained covert operatives, highly skilled in information analysis and surveillance. Then we wouldn't be vulnerable to foreign attacks. It's a smart thing to do. Nope. I'll poop. Poop? Shh. That's just rude. Goodbye. You know what? Poop is rude. So Beauty is getting the nectar, but uh-oh. It looks like someone was caught Miss B Haven. <laughs> I don't like doing this either. Bear with me. Well, time to check the hive. See that bush right there? See that bush? I'm pretty certain that that's just a picture of a bush. I know what you mean. That's how I feel when I hit the bullseye. But I'm supposed to be a cook, right? Oh, great. There's a musical number. Guess what it's about. You'll never guess what it's about. Follow your heart, and all your dreams will come true. That's what it's about. So then comes the big conflict. The big, weird human dude is trying to get rid of their hive because apparently their honey just doesn't taste good enough. I don't really know if that how it works, but you know, it's a it's the plot, whatever. So some of the bees go attack him in a hole in his suit and die. Yep. I'm serious, they actually die. So basically the bees are now at war with the humans because I, I he's gonna get rid of the hive because their bee juice is not good enough. Good luck, Beanard. Thanks, but I hope that won't be necessary. You're the best friend I've ever had. You're special. Don't give up on your dreams. You never know when they might come true. I hope they will. Wow. That's the most inspirational shit I've ever heard in my life. I'm telling you, if I ever get drafted into the army, that's just going to be my speech to everybody. You're the best friend I've ever had. You're special. Don't give up on your dreams because someday they might come true. Now I'm off to the army. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of the hive because I had a swarm of angry bees in my suit. Grow up. A big guy like you can't handle a few little bees. Yeah, what an idiot. Just don't get stung by a bee. Like, I I don't understand. Why is it so hard for you to get that, you fucking loser? You idiot! Maybe we're all idiots. So now, there's a war going on because the humans don't like their honey. And if only there was a bee who could create such a flavorful honey that no one will ever want to destroy them again! Beanard! You're the, you're the one! So the princess finds Beanard, and you won't believe what he said to him dude please for the love of god stop with the bee puns okay just stop i, I can't stop i don't know what's i don't know what's wrong with me what am, what do i do tell me what do i do to get through this Beanard? who is Beanard? Beanard, the bee in the movie that's what i'm talking about the bee in what movie you're not even watching a movie I am what it's right there in front. I'm watching the movie. You don't even have a chair What the what the hell make sure to use code pig for 30% off So anyway, they get the nectar and then Beanard makes a nice batch of honey But the bee boys are back with their bee suits and it's fresh and tight No bees gonna get them this time. So it's starting to get a little bit hot <laughs> Kind of hot in here. Yeah, but I sure feel safe. A huge battle commences, and a bunch of bees die. So Bernard's outside, and he has to open the honey vent, I, I guess, to release the honey in order for the dudes to stop. Ninety-nine. After all this, we've come so close, but now the valve won't be opened and the hive will be lost. Wow, Beanard, now that you have passed out, our only chance at stopping the humans are now gone. You are sleeping. Now we have no chance. The hive will now die a horrendous death if you do not awake from your slumber. Not even lying, the only way I can get through this movie without suffering a hemorrhage is just playing it at two times speed. So Bernard somehow tanks bee gas, how? And for some reason, the two dudes who are about to destroy this honey thing sees honey coming out. And instead of just saying, yeah, screw it, let's get rid of the bees, they decide, it's like, I'm going to stop everything that I am doing. I'm just gonna give a little 
Mm. 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 There's a little taste. Mm -hmm. This stuff is delicious. No way we're getting rid of this hive. It's staying right where it is. Wow, there is honey coming out of there. I want to try it. Wow, the honey is really good. We will not destroy this now because we tried the honey and since the honey was good, we decided that we should not get rid of it. So, Beanard saves the day and just when you think the movie's over, something really weird happens and I genuinely did not expect this. I've seen my fair share of weird knockoff movies, but I've never seen something like this happen in a movie like this. So, everyone's praising him, right? Everyone's like, yeah, good job, Bernard. You did it. You did it. Now he has to stand trial in court? What? The hive's safe, but that doesn't mean the future's going to be any brighter for you, Bernard. <laughs> Come with me. You're under arrest, and you'll be brought before the queen to be judged. <laughs> like, this is surprisingly thought out for this movie. Because technically, I guess, when it comes to bee law, he broke some laws. You know, he broke ranks, and he made honey instead of was being a soldier. So yeah, Beanard gets arrested for disregarding the bee hierarchy and breaking ranks, and now he's in bee court. It's like kangaroo court, but it, but it's a bee. Bro, he's got a ball and chain on his leg. What is this shit? But after they hold the trial and it looks like Beanard's gonna get, you know, bee capitated. Man, I'm really grasping for straws at this one. The chef comes out and admits that it was Beanard and not him who made the honey. So in the end, what have we learned? What's the one thing that we've learned countless times throughout this movie? Follow your heart. And if you believe in yourself, you can be anything. Someone just punched me in the face. Hey, what are you guys looking at? I see we have a visitor. Oh, God. No. No, no, no fourth wall breaks from you. No. Stop! So this was a giant waste of my time. But to be honest, this movie isn't the worst bootleg knockoff movie I've seen. Honestly, technically for a kid's movie, I guess it could pass for something. So I'm going to give this movie a one out of B. God. Believe me when I say this. That was my last pun. Now. Be gone. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure to use code PIG to get 30% off your purchase on G Fuel items. And it only lasts for a week, so please use it. And also, if you'd like to, you could subscribe to my channel. And you could also subscribe to my Twitter or my Instagram. That is all.